What's up guys, Random Razor here with another tech video for you guys today. And today I bring you guys another tech tour of my home setup here. I know some of you guys are wondering, did I make a setup video not too long ago? I did a couple months ago, but that was in my dorm room. This is my home setup here, which actually made quite a number of setup tour videos in the past few years to show you guys, you know, updated things and uh, looks and all that stuff. Um, the last video I made of my home setup here was in August of 2011, which was almost a year ago. So it's uh, quite overdue for a home setup tour. But anyways, um, for those of you who never see my uh, home setup tour uh, videos, then uh, you guys are in for a treat and hopefully you guys will enjoy. First off, finally replaced that old 1980s or early 90s, whatever, uh, retro style lamp with this more modern, sleeker looking one that I brought back from residence. And uh, yeah, definitely looks a little bit nicer. Next we have my 2 year old uh, Harman Kardon subwoofer. Down on the floor here we have my 19 year old um, Red Slider Turtle, her name is uh, Franklin. I had her about 10 years, um, no 9 years and my mom's friend had her uh, for about 10 years ever since she was a baby like that big. And uh, yeah, she's a happy healthy turtle, I do let her, let her out from time to time so she's not always confined in here. But uh, every time I let her out she just crawls somewhere and sits in that spot for like hours on end. So. Moving on, we got my four-year-old HP All-in-One C7280 All-in-One printer. Um, it prints, it faxes, it scans, pretty much does everything, and uh, it's pretty uh, good old reliable printer. I'll probably pick up a new one for uh, the university though because I'm getting tired of hogging this thing back and forth. Um, but anyways, that's uh, yeah, HP, HP makes some pretty decent printers. So for those of you looking for a uh, printer, um, I like HP. It's reliable. Uh, their inks are expensive, but what brand isn't? Next we got my uh, very first computer, this is the HP uh, desktop computer here that I got way back in 2005-2006. Uh, it was my very first brand new computer, you know, flat screen LCD monitor, top line specs more or less at the time. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty, expe uh, pretty exciting moment. But anyways, um, in terms of specs, uh, the uh, HP um, tower there uh, has a 3.06 GHz Intel Pentium 4 processor, 1 GB of RAM, a 200 uh, GB hard drive, and a uh, built-in Intel HD graphics cards, which wasn't really that great, but played games and YouTube videos and all that stuff pretty well. But uh, I don't use it too often anymore since I got the MacBook, of course, but I did install Windows 8 on here, and it runs it actually pretty well. It's a little bit slow, but um, it's not like super slow, but it runs it pretty well, and uh, it's definitely a nice, you know, good old reliable computer. Right. First off, we have my uh, Western Digital My Passport Elite portable hard drive, and the uh, Elite versions pretty much came with the dock, as you guys can see here, which is a pretty cool feature. Um, I don't use it too often anymore. It was initially used as a backup uh, drive, but now since I got the two terabyte time capsule, uh, it's a lot more easier to do on that. But nonetheless, definitely recommend an external hard drive if you don't have one. It's a great way to store all your photos and a backup computer in case something happens to it. Next we've got the uh, Harman Kardon Sound 6, which are uh, beside the uh, HP monitor of course, and of course these go along with the Harman Kardon subwoofer. It's been a pretty awesome uh, stereo uh, computer system for the past couple years now, and it's uh, definitely something I recommend if you're looking for a computer speaker system. Centering all this of course is the HP monitor as well as this uh, Microsoft Wireless Laser Desktop uh, Keyboard and Mouse Set here. Um, probably had this for about a couple years now. It's definitely a pretty attractive, uh, attractive uh, looking keyboard and mouse set. Um, uh, I think they're discontinued now from Microsoft, but you can certainly pick these up brand new on eBay for maybe like half the price that uh, it was initially, which was $129. Next we got the HP 17 inch LCD monitor, it's really nothing special about it, it's just your average uh, LCD monitor and uh, you know at the time it's pretty top of the line I'd say, um, definitely a lot more better than the CRT monitors that computers used to use and uh, yeah it still works. Moving on we got this uh, replica German anniversary clock, um, I can definitely find a more modern and nicer looking clock to fit my setup here but it tells the time, I think it looks pretty cool for what it is and uh, as long as it keeps time it definitely is going to stay there. Next we got my really old PlayStation 2. I never use this anymore, it just kind of sits there. Um, initially I used to use this also for gaming and stuff, but uh, then it moved on to a DVD player, then I just stopped watching DVDs altogether, everything's you know, on Netflix and stuff. But uh, yeah, it's pretty uh, good old machine for its time, and uh, I used to have a PlayStation 3, but then I returned it. I just, I know some of you guys are going, what? But I'm just not a fan of, um, or that's not you know a huge gamer anymore. Next we got my really cool looking Pioneer SX3700 series uh, stereo receiver. This thing was manufactured between 1980 and 1982 and it's definitely a pretty nice receiver for its age and uh, for what it is. I, I don't use it too uh, often anymore since you know, I'm not a huge fan of radio but um, it's definitely uh, just like the PS2 just sits there looking nice. Anyway, sitting below the receiver we just got some Nikon accessories, a strap, the charger, um, the uh, remote as well as the uh, body cap for the uh, camera body. Um, I actually lost all my uh, Nikon cats on the train when I was coming back from uh, university 
and uh, so I had to purchase them online on e off eBay. But thankfully, that's a genuine one, so uh, so I'll have to get the lens cap. So, but yeah, that's a fail. Anyways, over here we got my RCA CRT TV. This thing is a tank. It has, it's over 10 years old. It's purchased at Canadian Tire. And that's the one thing about CRT TVs. They definitely last for quite a while. Um, I was initially going to replace this with my uh, Samsung white TV. And I put that here instead. But, uh, you know, it still works. And it's kind of heavy. And plus it's silver, which matches with everything else here. So I decided just to leave it there and just take the TV back to university when I go back this September. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, 19 inches and it still works. Moving on to the other side of the room here now. We got a wooden TV table with a tissue, my keys, and some papers on top of it. This thing here is actually new. It's a Staples uh, leather manager's chair that I purchased at obviously Staples. Um, it was on sale for $149.99. had a $25 coupon plus an additional 20% off. And I paid just under $100, which I say is a pretty good deal for this chair. Uh, three reasons why I got it. It was comfortable, which is obviously the most important thing. It looks nice. Um, at least to me, it looks nice. It's nice and streamlined. It's not, you know filled up with a bunch of pillow top cushions or anything and also it's uh, definitely very inexpensive for what it is but anyways definitely recommend staples chairs if you just you know you want something affordable and comfortable moving on we got a bunch of plastic drawers um nothing there's really nothing that special in here the first drawer is probably most interesting we got a bunch of iphone uh, cases here um for those of you interested uh we got the white autobox defender the uh, esoterism case i recently reviewed um we got the autobox commuter case the apple white bumper case the more metal armor hybrid case um, the Autobox Camo case. This is actually the uh, iPhone 4 transparent back. Unfortunately, I can't use it anymore since the forest doesn't fit that for some reason. And just some generic uh, little pouch here from uh, Zellers. A um, bunch of other stuff. The uh, MagSafe charger here. Whoops. And uh, just a few other, you know, extra accessories. On top here, we got my 15 inch uh, in case canvas sleeve to go with my uh, in case black canvas backpack. On top of this, we got my in case DSLR case for my Nikon D5100. And on top of the uh, sleeve here, we just got my generic uh, brown leather wallet from uh, the drugstore, I believe. Oh, it's 25 bucks. It's real leather. It works well for me. And finally, the last bit I want to show you guys uh, first off, we got my Coke collection here. Well, it's not really a collection, just a collection of Coke bottles. Um, some cans. Uh, the one behind the order box is the uh, Toronto Maple Leaf uh, can, which I think came out maybe 10 years ago. Um, over here, we got my uh, Apple box collection. Well, it's not really a collection, but it's generally a good idea to keep, you know, the package for uh, kind of expensive items in case you have to send it back or, you know, you know take advantage of the warranty if something goes wrong. Anyways, um, if, for those of you interested, we got the uh, Universal, um, Universal Dock box, Time Capsule box, uh, my first gen iPod Touch up there uh, behind the uh, a recent 64 gigabyte iPhone 4s box and behind that we got the 3gs box uh, next we got my MacBook Pro box and over here we got the uh, Apple uh, in-ear headphones which are actually selling on Kijiji the uh, book arc the uh, 16 gigabyte fourth no fifth gen iPod touch or no iPod nano sorry um, the Apple battery charger and the third gen iPod classic as well as the uh, Apple wireless keyboard but anyways um that's uh that's pretty much it Almost forgot my Apple uh, setup here. It's not really a setup, but anyways, first off, we got my two terabyte um, Apple Time capsule, which of course used to back up and store stuff uh, on my uh, MacBook here. Beside that, we got the uh, Apple Magic Mouse, and of course, my 15-inch 2011 MacBook Pro uh, with the upgraded high-res anti-glare screen, as well as an upgraded Intel SSD 120 uh, gigabyte um, solid-state drive. Anyways, the last, of course, is the Apple Universal Dock, and that's uh, pretty much it. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Hope you guys enjoyed my tech tour. Um, I tried to, you know, give you guys a tour a little bit different this time without making it like 10 minutes. But anyways, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button on the top there and I'll see you all next video. Peace.